Hello, Comanche Native here, and I'm playing Lego Fortnite, so please enjoy. I am currently at my lumber camp, only dedicated to making refined wood, and let's talk. Let's, let's, let's talk. Number one, the NPCs cannot get through the doors, not even the garage. Number two, blast powder. What? What in the Fortnite? Why are the skeletons in the desert no longer dropping an efficient blast powder number? Before, they were dropping blast powder like all the time. Now, no. I have made three runs recently to the desert and the blast powder was not that much. In order for me to show you how to do this build, I need the blast powder. I need it and I don't have it. Why? Because I only have one on me. And do you know why I only have one? Because this thruster needs one, needs one to work. And do I even know how to work the switch? The answer is no, because that also needs a blast powder too. <sighs> really? Uh oh. And issue number. What number was I? Hey, what number was I on? Oh, anyway. Issue number. I don't know. Put a number up. That. That number. It is becoming glitchy in the world. Now, I totally understand why. There are a lot of people playing Lego Fortnite. And I'm so happy about that. I'm like, yeah. It's a good game. Lego Fortnite. Come play. Come on. Yeah, you know, Robin. You know. <laughs> but here's the thing. The fact that it's being glitchy. Well, it destroyed a dream of mine. It did. Roll footage. This is what happened to me when I logged back into the game. My ship was upside down and then come tumbling down to the ground. The impact busted the ship to where you see it now. The Enterprise from Final Fantasy IV gone in a matter of seconds. Was I heartbroken? Yes, but then again, this is how building is. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Yes, I ran into games to where the data was corrupted and I lost everything and had to start over again. But that is how gaming goes. Now, I understand that it could be the server. I understand that it could be a little too much. I totally get that. But I was super hyped up about this build. I normally will build something in survivor mode and then learn the basics. And then say, okay, I'll do a how-to video, and then I'll show everyone exactly what they need to do, and make it look nice and easy. For this one, I was going to keep this ship. Normally, I destroy my builds after building them, and then in the how-to video, I rebuild them. That. And I was just going to have this one floating in the sky, and then show you guys, hey, look, do this and that, and here you go. I will rebuild. I will show you how to build the Final Fantasy IV Enterprise ship. But for now, we're just going to go over the basics of how you can get your airship started and get out there and start building some fantastic ships. Uh, hello, can I help you? Ow! What the? Get on Ah. Anyway, yeah, I know, right? Right, interrupt me when I was sitting there. I was watching the video footage too. I was enjoying that. Anyway, guys, in order for me to do this, I have to go to sandbox mode. There, I have infinite everything. And I probably don't have to worry about the monsters and stuff like that. Let's wait until morning and I will show you what we are about to build. It is morning. It's hard to tell what time it is in LEGO Fortnite because the sun and the moon bounce back and forth like a ping pong ball. 
game. And it's hard to determine the time. But that's alright. That's alright. What I'm going to teach you how to do is the basics of making an airship. Now, my brother, Native Mercy, has taken over this ship. He's adding certain things, deducting things, and the weight is getting heavier and heavier. The balloons he has up just to keep it at this altitude. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight balloons. And it's still just a tad on the lop side. That's okay. That's all right. Now, the thing I'm sitting here thinking about is if you are going to add weight to this, where is that information? Where's the weight information? Because I do not see it. It says triangle for more info. I don't see anything about weight. Now, I totally understand that, yes, this is about gravity. Gravity hurts. And things are heavy. I totally get that. But you're going to have to give me some information, at least, so I can do this better. Now, what we decided to do is we are going to make a whole bunch of airships. Yeah, me and my brothers, we're going to be, you know, that type of group. <laughs> Eventually, I will move on to vehicles and, and stuff of that nature. But let's go ahead and I will see you in sandbox mode so we can start. I am in sandbox mode. If you don't believe me, all I have to do is double tap X and then I ascend. Good luck with your build. I'll see you later. <laughs> all right i found a nice flat area it rained twice cuddle showed up because of the fire cuddles only shows up because you're new to fortnite i would assume because my brothers last shot legacy and native mercy didn't have cuddles but i do because this is the first time you play in fortnite well lego fortnite anyway let's go ahead and start now i'm going to ignore all the cool stuff that they give you in yeah see this look at this look look at what they give you they just give you this I'm like with all of this of course you can build something awesome and cool but no we're gonna ignore that we're not gonna we're not gonna concentrate on this this awesome stuff look at this look what no 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 we are going to build something that we can build in survivor mode. And I'm telling you, it's so hard to just... Because look, I find out we get a stove. Mm. No, no, no. So let's go to the build. We'll do the build. Okay. We're going to go into toys. And we're going to look for the dynamic foundation. I'm going to set it here. Then we are going to go into floors. We're going to use the 16 by 16 by 1 log cabin rustic wide floor number 2. And we're going to put it in place. I'm going to make sure it's nice and even right on there. Alright, and then we're going to use another one of those on one side. And then the other. Now, keep in mind, whatever you build on one side, you have to repeat on the other side. It's called balance. And yes, as you build on to this structure, you are going to make it heavier and heavier and heavier. Keep that in mind. We're going to use the 10 by 16 by 6 log cabin rustic roof number 4. And we're going to place it over here. But we're going to have it kind of come out just a little bit to just give us a little edge. Like that. Did you see it? Did you see it kind of move? Yeah, that's right. Here, I'll show you just an example. Let's say I put this right here. Uh, hang on. Bad example. Let's try, let's try another example. Because honestly, I need to put it right up here, and I don't think I can. Can I put it right up here? They're like, oh, wait, wait, here we go. 
You see how it, it, it kind of went a little down? That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Be careful how much you pack on. But you know what? I believe in you guys. I know you guys are smart. I know you will figure it out. All right, we're going to repeat that over here. I know you guys can make some really cool things. And I'm just giving you kind of an example so you can get out there and start building your ship. Okay, we're going to have it like that. Now I'm going to show you the mock-up version that I did in Survivor. We are now going to use the 2x2x6 log cabin umber half wall. And we're going to place it right here at the corner. About right here. And it depends on if you want the little, it's so, you see that little notch right there? Facing the boat or way. And we're just going to repeat the process on both sides. Have to make sure they're nice and even. Go back over here, do the same thing over here. Let's see. Okay. That right there. Yeah, I know this, the little ledge is sort of there, but that's all right. And it is higher. Never mind. That was totally wrong. We need to try to make it even. Make sure it's right there. Okay, so it should look like that. Then we're going to put the railings. We're going to use the 1x16x2 log cabin rustic railing number 3. And we're just going to put it right here. And it's going to just attach. Then we're going to do the other side the same way. Now if it's a little bit away, just hit the R1 to rotate it to where it's right up against the, the ship. Do it again on the other side. And you'll hear a crunching noise. What that means is it's getting heavier and heavier. When you start to build onto this thing, you're going to hear more crunching noises. Why? I don't know why they put that in there. I thought it was kind of interesting, but it is kind of disturbing because when you're in a build mode and you hear that crumbling, I kind of panic a little because I'm thinking, oh my goodness, what broke apart? And I'm looking around at the thing like, what, what broke apart? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so now we're going to go and head back into walls. And we are going to use the 2x2x6 log cabin umber half wall. And we're just going to put it right here by the entrance. Same over here. Repeat the process on this side. I think that might be a little... Is that a little down? Mm, it might have been down too much. Hang on. Yeah, that's a little down. Hang on. I don't think you guys can really see it. Let me put some light. Okay, so that's kind of up. It's... This looks okay. This might be a little too up. Hang on. Again, the only reason why I'm doing this is because trying to make sure everything is even Steven 
It's the balance. It's the fact that there's a weight issue. And if it's just off just by a little bit, does that match up? No, it doesn't. Okay, now that matches up. We are going to use the 12 by 2 by 1 log cabin rustic thin floor number 2. We're going to place it right here. Line it up. We're going to do the same for the other side. Ooh, that crunching noise. That crunching noise. <laughs> We're going to use the 16 by 2 by 1 log cabin rustic thin floor number 3. I'm going to place it right here. Do this on the other side. That crunchy. That boom. <laughs> so it should look like this. Use your imagination. Can you picture a ship that you want? Seize the moment. And make that ship happen. Because now we're going to make this thing float. Now it's up to you. On how you want to do this. You could. You could. Add some stuff here on the side. Make it a little bit better. Make it wider. You can add on to it. You can build a, a deck. On top of this. And make this. Your cabin inside. But again, whatever you do, it's going to make it heavier. So, this is where things get a little sketchy. We're going to put the balloons on top of here. Try our best to line it up. Again, if it's just a little bit weird, it makes a difference. So we try to line it up as much as we can. That's one. Two. And there we go. Now depending on how high you want it off the ground, which you're probably going to have to do a little bit more. Whatever you put on one side, you have to be make sure it's identical on the other side. So if you put two balloons over here, it's going to lift this up. Then you have to put two balloons over here. Or if you want, you could put one balloon up front. Then you have to do the same thing on the other side just to balance it out. Now, once you determine how high you want the balloons, let's say we go like this. You see how it tilts up? It's tilting up and it's bringing it up even further. Yeah, I know. It's, when you are in survivor mode and this happens, you are panicking. See how that is? But it brought it up a good way, right? It's up there. Now trying to get this thing to balance out. There we go. We're balanced out. We're higher. It seems like we're in good shape. We're way up here. Looks nice. Looks nice. Now, if you were in survivor mode, if you jumped off of this, you'd have to build your way back up. So, this is what Native Mercy came up with, which was ingenious, I have to say. He said, what kind of bed is this? I'm sorry. What the? I'm sorry. Don't look at that. Can't pay attention to that. He used the bed and he put it here. And then he went to sleep in it, signed the bed. Then you can just jump off anytime you like. Let's say you, you landed here and then it's way up there, right? And you're like, how do I get back up? Instead of building, all you have to do is hit the option. You want to go down here to where you see menu. Go over and then hit respawn and then triangle. You'll break apart looking crazy. And then you hit respawn 
<laughs> Cuddles was running up like, what happened? <laughs> and you are back in your bed. So this is a new spawn point for you. So you can travel around and everything like that. No problem. Now, you might be wondering, okay, so it's up in the air. How do I move forward? Good question. Good question. Uh, I should have put the mechanisms on down below ahead of time, but I didn't. I'm in sandbox mode, so let's do that now. Now, you might want to do this while you're on the ground, just so you know. Hang on, i got to get down a little bit. How do I get down? Whoa! About right here. It's up to you which you want, uh, which direction you want to have the front or back. We are going to go and put the thrusters on. Now, honestly, I like the small thrusters. I like the tiny thrusters. I think they look kind of cool. I like how they look, the stream and everything. I think that looks nice. Now, our problem was when we were we were experimenting with this, trying to get it to work. This switch. First, we had it back here. Thinking, okay, we just need it back here. You could put the switch anywhere. Because as long as that dynamic part is attached to certain things, you could put the switch here. And you can make it go. And then it goes forward. And now you are flying. It is for short boost. Eventually it stops. It glides you a little way and then it comes to a stop. Now here's the thing guys. You might be wondering, well, how do we turn? Good question. Now, again, my brother said that there are videos out there to where they, they give a good explanation on how to make switches do certain things. But what we did instead, since we didn't really look at the video too much, is we came up with this idea of putting... Let's see. It's sort of like you have to kind of like... If this balloon wasn't here, right... You could do it like two ways. This is, we're, we're going off script now, all right? We're going off script. And the reason why I say going off script is this is new. I'm experimenting, all right? Okay, so let's say we put a thruster here. This will make us turn. Like that. So now we're turning. Now the thing about this is this switch controls this as well as the three thrusters in the back. That is how we could turn. Now if we wanted to turn and we said, oh, hold still, we had to hit this. Like we had to bust this. We had to go that. And if we wanted to go the other way, That. Oh, oh, it's breaking apart. Why that happened? I don't know. It, it shifted. But that's it. Now, if you guys can come up with an idea or a solution to where you can make a turn switch to go one way and the other while you're in the ship, that's great. I say go for it. I don't know why that that glitched but see that's been happening it's been glitching up now the problem with steering like this is the blast powder this is infinite because I am in sandbox mode it's infinite when you're in survival you have to go to the desert in order for you to be able to get that item so we were using blast powder to just turn around. That's it. Just a turn. So that's it, guys. That is 
the mock-up skeletons of what you could do to make an airship. If you're wondering, well, how do I get down? Well, you have to break the balloon. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Let's see. You have to break the balloons to bring it down. Now you will get cold. You will get cold up here. There we go. You will get cold up here. Let's get it away from the trees. Yeah, perfect landing. No, 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 you're not going to trick me, huh-uh. You will get cold up here, so you will need a fire. And if you decide to build on to it, you will make it heavier and heavier and heavier. And it will require more balloons. But if you can just picture it, the possibilities are infinite on what you want to do to make this happen. Think about the, the airships that you've seen in games. Wouldn't that be great to be able to build that? I think it would. Flying around. It'd be fantastic. And then watching it sail in the sky. That's so cool. Hang on. I'll show you. Let me bring it back up. I've got to get used to flying around. Um, look at me, I'm Peter Pan. Whoa! That's two, that's three balloons right there. Okay. Even it out. Look at this thing sell. Look at it! Now if that ever happened to you again, just go like this. <laughs> and then you should be spawning back into your bed. There we go. Now you have to be careful though. I do suggest sleeping when you respawn so you can get it activated again and then you can just go on your way stairs to the desert captain wow dude i love this i love this man Arr. Morgan, you see which? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a successful test. Does the thrusters go out after a while? It does, it does. Okay. So it's only supposed to go for a small boost. <laughs> That's basically what it is. It, it, it cuts off so I just hit it again. Okay. Man, this is cool! <laughs> hey, see if you can do the remote and still interact with that thing. So beautiful! So beautiful! Alright. Oh, okay. rainbow! I'm going for it! Da, 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 I got everything.
Do we have to break this or do we just leave it? No. You already grabbed all the items, right, in box? Yeah. yeah, they already fell down. <laughs> You're glitching! You are so it. glitching! I know it, I'm kind of everywhere. <laughs> You're still, still dancing! dancing. <laughs> okay, we jump Ooh. down. <laughs> it was supposed to pop a long time ago, but it's not popping. Welcome <laughs> to the Sky Pirate Lego Hood. When you figure out how high you want your sky ship, how many balloons it's going to take for you to keep it afloat, keep it in the sky. Do not bring it back down. You could always build up to it. Now I was going to show you guys a tutorial on how to do the Enterprise from Final Fantasy 4. But Lego Fortnite had a different plan for me. By mangling my ship up to the point of... Me looking at it going, what the? I have to redo it. I have to bring it back down and redo it all over again. It's okay. It's all right. This isn't my first rodeo on how to build things. I've been here. I can do it again. The torch of building is deep within my heart to where that fire burns. And I'm like, all right, all right. I'll go get supplies. I'll rebuild it. No problem, no problem. But I hope this video helps, guys. This is Comanche Native, and I'll see you next time.